This is Sycamore Spotlight, where we talk all things Sycamore basketball. Presented by Team Green Law. Welcome to our very first in, in a State Sycamore Spotlight. He is the head basketball coach of the Indiana State Sycamores, Josh Schertz. Coach, welcome aboard. Happy to do this thing this season, right? Yeah, it's going to be fun. I can't wait. ISU, of course, 2-1 and one on the season. You guys got the big start in the college basketball season. How do you kind of feel now? You got three games under your belt. You bounce back against Alabama, but 2-1, and one, an impressive win against IUPUI the other night. Yeah, I think uh, I told the guys, you know, season kind of starts now. Um, you know, we had uh, two home games that, that probably we were, you know, had, had you know, should have won, and we did, and we had a really tough road game against an elite team where uh, we went in certainly feeling like we had a chance and thought we gave ourselves a chance. Uh, obviously, Alabama's tremendous, um, but we had the game there in, in, in single figures. Uh, the under eight media um, just could never get over the hump, put game pressure on them, but credit Alabama. I thought it was great for us, great learning experience, got exposed in some areas, learned some hard lessons. Um, but that's what you want in those kind of games. You want to challenge yourself against the very best teams, see where you stack up. It was a great measuring stick for where we are, uh, you know, on November 10th, but now it's taking those lessons, applying them moving forward, and I thought our guys' practices uh, Sunday, Monday, leading into IUPUI reflected, hey, uh, you know, we, we, we've learned some things here from the last game, and, of course, doesn't hurt to have uh, Robbie back as well, so that, that helped a little Big bit. Big news on that. We're going to take you to some highlights of the game. Let's check out some of the game earlier this week. An impressive win, as you said, over IUPUI. The key, the big guy with the goggles back, Coach Shirts, right? Yes, that's huge for us. He, uh, you know, he's a guy, I uh, said we recruit him. You can uh, you can run an offense through him. You can build a program around him, right? Uh, and he, get, he got going right away, which is good. Yes. You want to get, get a taste right away. You know, he got an assist right away, first play, skips it opposite to Ryan Conwell, got a three-point play and a nice pass from Julian Larry, so accounted for our first six points. And, um, you know, he, he's a guy that, uh, you know, even with being a little bit rusty, uh, you know, 16 points, uh, I think five rebounds, four assists in 19 minutes. Uh, pretty impressive for first game back. Some great passing. Um, and he just makes everything flows better when he's out there to have a 6'10 point guard's a luxury not many teams have. I like what you said after the game the other night to the media as well. You kind of knew Robbie was back. Did he dive for a loose ball in practice right before he was back? So, you know, you don't want to <laughs> dive, but a basketball player is going to make a basketball play, right? Yeah, he's, he's a guy that's always, you know, doing whatever he can to help affect winning. Um, you know, he was, it, we were in practice, first practice back, and there's a loose ball, and he just hits the deck, you know, head first, you know, lays out for it. And I was like, and then once he got up from that, I was like, all right, I think we're, we're good. And, uh, you know, he had done some half-court stuff, but, um, you know, he's just a, a competitor at the highest level. And, you know, great to see him back playing. He, he was miserable sitting out. And sometimes you got to protect guys from themselves. But, uh, you know, you can see there that pass to Ryan. I mean, he just does some things for us, and everything flows well. And 28 assists on the t for the team on the night. Very impressive. Yeah, ball and body movement was terrific. Guys really sharing it, playing for each other. And I thought we played with great pace. I thought we were really unselfish. I uh, thought, you know, again, ball body movement was terrific, but this pass here, Jabba has a layup, gives it over to, to Robbie for a layup. And so a lot of guys just giving up. I told the guys the best thing I, I saw on Tuesday night was our culture. You know, the way they supported each other, the way they played for each other, the way they were trying to bring out the best in each other. But the way the bench was into the game, the way guys were invested in the game, uh, that was, to me, the most impressive thing. Uh, of Tuesday night, even trumping anything we did on offense or defense. And you got a lot of guys involved, too, on offense and, of course, defense as well. Good to get a lot of guys involved. I think Jake Wolf had a big night as well. Jake Wolf was terrific. Uh, he's a guy we really need to, to, to be good for us. Uh, you know, it's, it's an interesting uh, deal for him. You know, he's come in. He's a, a six-year player. His fifth year playing with the COVID year. Uh, he started a, right around 100 games in his career, so he's been a starter for most of his career. It is, a, it is a change coming off the bench. I mean, it's different. How do you get ready? How do you get loose? Uh, you know, how do you come off and affect winning? And I thought he didn't. He wasn't as comfortable uh, the first couple games with his role and understanding. He wasn't you know, a guy who's like, oh, I don't want to come off the bench. He was just like, I got to get acclimated to it. And uh, I thought I thought IUPUI was kind of this coming out party with what we see that he can be. I mean, six foot five can play as a point guard. I think at the pro level, I think he'll get a chance to play in Europe as a point guard, um, but can really defend. Uh, gave us five rebounds, six assists, no turnovers, four points. Um, was just really hyper-efficient. Jake's a really, really good basketball player, really smart, really tough, uh, great competitor, fits us perfectly, and we're going to need him at that size, what he brings to the table. That's, a, that's a, a piece of the puzzle that has to be good for us. 
for us to have the kind of season we hope to. Special night when you guys play in Indiana school, another Indiana school. I want to go back to the season opener. You know, it's been over a week or so, but St. Mary's, you know, it's a cool deal. You guys hosting the Pomeroys had a great crowd. Indiana State, of course, gets a win over St. Mary's, but I know that you've had a couple games since then, but this was a cool night for the Valley, cool night for, you know, you have two local colleges and a nice showcase, and it starts with that guy right there, Swope. Yeah, he had, uh, I think, 20 in the first half. He and Conwell combined for 35 in the first half. Uh, St. Mary's, uh, you know, I mean, we talked about Alabama, how good they are, but man, it, it, the St. Mary's for, for what uh, Jesse's done this first year to put that team together to be that good and to have the kind of talent they have. I mean, they're going to win a ton of games at their level. They really are. I, I was blown away with, with their team, really impressed with uh, how they compete, how they play together, their size and athleticism. Uh, that's an excellent basketball team, really well coached. Um, I thought we came out early and I thought we did a really good job of, you know, creating tempo. I thought our defense, our switching uh, was able to bother them. I think similar to what it was against IUPUI, our, our activity defensively led us to get run outs. But it, 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 for St. Mary's credit, they never let it get, you know, too far away. I think it got in the 30s later in the game. But, I mean, they were able to keep in that 15 to 20 range for most of the game, put pressure on us to come out and execute. That's a good basketball team. Again, very well coached, talented, shot makers. Um, I think they had our guys' attention. We, we saw their game, wouldn't see it, but, her, you know, follow their game against Valpo. Um, and, and they had Valpo beat, you know, and they, they played their bench late, but they led that game most of the way. And so we knew coming in it was going to be a challenge, and I think our guys really responded, liked the way they played. I mean, obviously, first game, you're always going to have some jitters and, and kinks, but I thought, uh, I thought overall for game one, uh, it, was, it was a really well-played game. And, and credit to them. Because, uh, uh, again, they, they, they really pushed us, made us work, which is what we wanted. And, and fans came out. I mean, you know, I think it was 4,400 or something like that for that first game. And, and, and uh, seeing two Terre Haute teams do it, I think that's special. And it's something we want to continue to do with, you know, with them, Rose Holm, and some of the teams here locally. Because I think that just, it means more to the, to the community and also to those programs. That it does. We want to see big crowds like that at Holman Center as we continue throughout, of course, the home portion of Indiana State's home basketball schedule. Hey, coming up a little later in the show, we're going to look ahead to a busy upcoming Sycamore schedule. They prepare to head out to the desert. Details on that. We're also going to pick Coach's brain about a couple of plays that stood out. But hey, up next, we're going to spotlight one Sycamore newcomer who's making his presence known. That's when Sycamore Spotlight comes right back after this. Sycamore Spotlight is brought to you by Great Dane. Rydell National Bank, Labor Link, and Dorset Automotive. I'm driving home, I went a different way, and I had a green light going through the intersection. Last thing I remember, had been hit by a semi. We were picked up and dropped by at least four other law firms. And then finally, we reached out to Team Green, and I can't tell you how exceptional they are and they were able to get me what I deserved. I can't recommend them enough. At Great Dane, we are proud to invest in our people and community. Now announcing new starting wages for trailer assemblers and welders. Assemblers earn up to $23 an hour and welders earn up to $27 an hour with no experience necessary to apply. Enjoy great health benefits, advancement opportunities, 401k, pension, and more. We need the makers, people who are ready to make a difference. We need you. Apply today at greatdane.com slash careers. We were choosing colors for the house, and I stopped and looked at Mike and said, We're really doing this, aren't we? The process was challenging, but Riddell was there for us every step of the way. The mortgage, closing, they eased our stress. It made sense when Mike said, We're really doing this. Mortgage loans made easy from Riddell. Making friends since 1885. Hey, this is Todd Hine with LaborLink. And I'm Coach Schertz with your Indiana State men's basketball team. With the Sycamores, the success of each individual player depends on the performance of the entire team. That's right, Todd. Teamwork makes the dream work. And if you're looking for a job and want your own employment team, then LaborLink has a spot for you. Start work right away with LaborLink. And come out and support Terre Haute's team, the Sycamores.
Welcome back to Sycamore Spotlight. We're talking all things Indiana State basketball. Joined, of course, by ISU head men's basketball coach Josh Schertz. I'm Grant Pugh. Now time for our player spotlight. We are shining some light on a player who leads your team in scoring, Josh, after almost 20 points a game. That'd be Isaiah Swope. What has he brought to this team? You kind of knew what you were getting with him. Yeah. But, man, he has turned it up a notch early on in this season. Yeah, did I know? We, I saw it firsthand, you know, at, at uh, when we were at, at Southern Indiana last year. His his his. Ignitability is, is unlike uh, almost anything I've seen. He can get going, and, and uh, man, when, he, when he's going, he's fun to watch. He's got a really dynamic combination of he's got great quickness, great shooting ability. Uh, he can shoot off the dribble. He can shoot with his show against IUPI with range. I mean, out to 30 feet. Um, he can get downhill. He can finish at the rim. Uh, he really makes it difficult for defenders because you're, you're, you're in a bind. I mean, you know, you get up and pressure him, go by you. Uh, you know, you, you back off. He can shoot it. He can shoot, get you, you know, create space through his ability to shoot the, the step back threes. Terrific shooting that. Uh, as we talked about, is his defense. That's where I've been so, you know, proud of him. Is, He's really committed himself on that end. I mean, five steals against IUPUI, nine steals in three games. You know, everybody's going to look at the scoring, which, of course, is important. But, you know, what he's doing for us defensively, the effort he's giving, the amount of ways, you know, he's impacting winning is, is, is far beyond just putting the ball in the basket. But you can see in his highlights, I mean, such a dynamic, dynamic uh, uh, scorer and can do it at all three levels, can do it at the rim, can do it mids, can do it from three, can do it at the dribble. There's really not a weakness, not a hole. In, in his game on the offensive end. And he, that's going to make guys around him better. How does that help you know, everyone? Just a you know, big boost right away. It helps everyone on the team when you're playing ball like Swope's playing right oh, now. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, well, he's going to attract so much attention. That's going to open up things for Ryan Conwell and Robbie Avila. And that's what makes you know teams good is where, where you can't focus on one person. You go out. And so you may put a lot of attention to your best defender, Isaiah Swope. Well, you know, Julian Larry, Ryan Conwell, Robbie Apple, all these other guys, you know, Jason Kent, uh, guys off the bench, Bledson, Wolf, et cetera. We got a lot of guys that can get going, a lot of guys that are uh, really, you know, dynamic offensive in their own ways. But he's the guy that, you know, certain guys are just wired to score. Um, you know, Cavassier was that for us sure. last year. Um, Isaiah's that way. Like, guys just walk in. Uh, Jaden Daughtry has that to him. Uh, when, you know, guys are just, they just are wired to put the ball in the basket. You can't teach that. I think guys are just innately kind of born that way. They just they just are, have ability to put the ball in the basket, and 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 he's he's very much that way. And I think he's, um, you know, he's at his best when he's not thinking. We're trying to get him to think less and 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 just be assertive, be aggressive, um, you know, uh, play play really aggressive to make the right play. You know, that's what we want him doing, playing. You know, uber aggressive every time he touches it to make the right play, and and he does that. He's going to make life easier for his teammates, and he's certainly uh, a guy, like I said, is capable of filling it up. And in all three games, uh, he's had some spurts that have just been, you know, amazing in terms of we talked about the same areas of Woods, the 20 in the first half. He got us out going against uh, IUPUI on on Tuesday, and same thing in Alabama. In that first half, yeah, right away he making. makes a couple of shots. You turn that game on, you're thinking, okay, Indiana State, Alabama. You see Swope, okay, this team's ready. Yeah. It's time to go. Yeah, he was, and, and he was shooting them with from range over over a size at you know six ten, six eleven, and his ability to create separation, that step back, his ability to get downhill and use that. You know, he's got areas to grow in, like all players do. But you know, again, the the that that ignite ability, that ability to go and flurry somebody to put in, you know, two or three threes in a row. You don't have very many people that are capable of doing that, and, and he's he's a rare breed in terms of uh, that spurt ability. That was my next question. Well, how do you want to see him? You know, okay, turn it on a little more now as you guys get set, of course, for conference play in a couple of weeks, but a couple of big games coming up in Vegas as well. Well, I want to see him. You know, obviously, uh, the the biggest thing is is now to extend those spurts, right? I mean, he's he's really been productive early in games when you look at all three games, but the majority of his scoring has happened in the first half. Um, and so second half, he kind of seems to throttle it back. Some is not quite as aggressive. Uh, two of the games we had big leads, so I'm not sure if that was it, but getting him to play with the same level of aggression for 40 minutes, uh, the same level of assertiveness for 40 minutes. Um, his defense hasn't tailed off. He competes in that end. But I thought Alabama, there was a couple shots second half that he had. He turned down, got himself in a, in a, you know, in a pickles with overpenetrating and some poor rim decisions. So we're working on, hey, you know, rim decisions, uh, understanding when you're open. The system is different. So the shots that he's, we're generating for him or that he's generating for himself are maybe a little different than they were at Southern Indiana. So recognition of when he's open. 
um, understanding and making the right rim decision more often. Um, you know, and, and so when to shoot it, when to kick it to a teammate, uh, what are your reads, what are you looking for? I think all those things are, are, are and, and can and will improve. And the thing with him is he's got, he's got immense talent, um, but he's got, a, he's got a huge capacity for work. He, he works as hard as anybody in the program. I mean, Julian Larry is a great worker. He's right there. Mason Miller, those guys, I mean, he's in there all the time working on his game, uh, cares about it. And so when you have a guy like that who's super talented, who is all about winning, who cares deeply about his own performance, wants to be a better player, wants to be coached, wants to be pushed, um, that's as good as it gets. And those are the guys who reach their ceiling. And so as good as he's been, I think there's still levels that we're going to see from him this year and next year in terms of how good he's going to get. I think he's got a chance to be uh, one of those guys that you look back on Indiana State basketball and be like, that was a, a special, special player. We've had been really fortunate as a program to have a number of those guys. Had a lot. Can't wait to see what Swope does next. Hey, that will do it for our player spotlight. Much more to come on the Sycamores with Coach Church a little later. We're going to take a look ahead to the busy week for the trees out in the desert. Up next, though, we get down to the X's and O's, Coach's Corner with the chalkboard right after this. Looking for your next used vehicle? Make the winning drive to the Wabash Valley's largest dealer, Dorset Automotive. We buy more so you can save more. With over 300 used vehicles, Dorset has something for everyone in every budget. And we'll do whatever it takes to get you the lowest payment in the valley. Plus, you're backed by our exclusive 5-year, 150,000-mile limited warranty. So hurry to Dorset today. Dorset driving home, I went a different way, and I had a green light going through the intersection. Last thing I remember, had been hit by a semi. We were picked up and dropped by at least four other law firms. And then finally, we reached out to Team Green, and I can't tell you how exceptional they are. And they were able to get me what I deserved. I can't recommend them enough. At Great Dane, we are proud to invest in our people and community. Now announcing new starting wages for trailer assemblers and welders. Assemblers earn up to $23 an hour, and welders earn up to $27 an hour, with no experience necessary to apply. Enjoy great health benefits, advancement opportunities, 401k, pension, and more. We need the makers, people who are ready to make a difference. We need you. Apply today at greatdane.com slash careers. We were choosing colors for the house, and I stopped and looked at Mike and said, We're really doing this, aren't we? The process was challenging, but Riddell was there for us every step of the way. The mortgage, closing, they eased our stress. It made sense when Mike said, We're really doing this. Mortgage loans made easy from Riddell. Making friends since 1885. Hey, we are back with our very first edition of Sycamore Spotlight with ISU head men's basketball coach Josh Schertz. Time to dive into the drawing board a little bit with coach and spotlight a couple of plays for you that have stood out over the first couple of games. Let's start with the season opener, of course, against St. Mary of the Woods. The first dunk of the season for the dunker, Jason Kent. Coach, let's take you to the play and you can kind of take us through. I mean, Jason Kent's a highlight dunk reel right now, right? Yeah, he has been getting a bunch of them. So uh, right here, just, you know, terrific. This play was really Julian Larry uh, uh, made it happen on the defensive end. He goes back and gets a, uh, an unbelievable rear view contest on that shot right there by Kobe Barnes. And then he goes in and grabs the rebound. And then out in transition, Jason Cam, we always try to run with spacing. Um, Julian does a great job of bringing it, looks it off. We always want to pitch the ball ahead. So we chart, we call EPAs, early pitch aheads. And uh, that's when we're pitching the ball before half court. And you look at Julian, he pitches it uh, across. And Jason Kent just using his speed in transition. He's one of the, you know, if you look at this season, one of the one of the top guys in dunks in the country, um, and and recipient of a great play by Julian. That's a talk a lot about multiple efforts. Uh, that is multiple efforts. I mean, Julian to get the rearview contest on Kobe's uh, uh, pull up to then get himself back in the play, go get the rebound, push in transition. Um, they make it. The they make it look easy. I mean, yeah, Julian yeah. and Jason most of the times will make it look easy, but those yeah. plays not easy to make defense and offense. No, and that's usually what it is. You know, you got to get, you, you know, your defense can fuel your offense, and for us it really does. I mean, everything for us is, you know, the defensive end fueling it, and then getting out in transition. The thing that this team's best at is 
its speed and its skill. And being in transition, being in the full court like that allows us to, to really accentuate those two things and we try to get in transition as often as possible. Our film breakdown brought to you by Dorset Automotive. Kent, not the only one. He, of course, he had a big dunk against Alabama in the Tide. But let's take you back to the IUPUI game for another play to spotlight Sycamore's team finished with 28 assists, as you said, yep. Coach. We spotlight a play Solid here in the second half. Two, course, Mason Miller's going to make this shot, but a couple of extra passes on this possession Mason as well. Miller, yep. this Starting here state. in, in a little elbow action. And uh, we played at a high split there. Um, and so really what we're doing in that scenario is, is putting our best passer, uh, Bledson, at the elbow. We're playing off what we would call a high split uh, X action. And, um, you know, you see those two guys were, were just, you know, as their read. Once the ball gets to Jabo, uh, Bledson there at the elbow, the read then becomes, you know, Isaiah and Mason at this point. So what do they want to do? So you see Mason uh, bringing up, Bledson opposite elbow play through that. He and Swope now are going to play this high split. And it's a read. Mason, it's a flare. That guy goes underneath. You don't want to do that with Mason Miller. Bledson does a good job of taking that space and making sure that we, we those little, we call them dribble pitches. We get a lot of assists on those. And so when you watch it, uh, Bledson was able to kind of drop that behind him. Uh, and that really put him in position if you look at the uh, the drop there to, to, to create the separation for the shot. But Mason, great recognition. Flare screen for Swope. Uh, that flare, that guy helps for a second. That creates a little bit of separation. Bledson, a little drop. You see him slide backwards to try to take that slack, so he creates more space for Mace. Really subtle things that go into it, but when we talk about reading the game, like once the ball went to Bledson, like they were reading it, they could have done anything they wanted. Uh, that's what they chose, and, and obviously, uh, intelligent play, great decision by those guys. Devil is in the details, right? Mason makes a big play there. It's good to 28 mm -hmm. assists, of course, against IUPUI. Several guys at least had four, which, which was nice to see. Yeah, I think the, you know, the assists, you know, the way we play is, is, is unique a little bit, you know, in college basketball where, where one guy doesn't really dominate the ball. We don't play out of, you know, patterns, really play out of concepts. So it's, it's a little more like jazz where it's improvisational. Uh, you know, we talk about organized randomness. So there's a lot of randomness. Of course, there's organization, otherwise people just be running around and it'd be chaotic, they want that. But uh, there's automatics and spacing and triggers and different things we do, but it's really guys reading the game. And as you said, the, the devil is in the details, the subtlety of the game, um, you know, each play kind of has its own life. And we try to give our guys a lot of freedom, but with that freedom comes a lot of responsibility. And we spend a lot of time, uh, you know, in practice, really helping them to understand, you know, what the reads are, what the solution are, the defense is presenting this, what are they doing? And, and getting guys to see the game. And that's probably the most uh, undervalued, underestimated thing for a player is, is can they see? And if sure. you can see what's happening, then you can analyze, and then you're able to make the proper decisions or reactions. But a lot of players don't see, they just play. And there's a big difference. And so getting guys to see the game, getting guys to analyze and react and do it together in concert, when it's uh, when our offense is clicking, it looks beautiful. There's times where it stagnates. All offenses do, but uh, certainly, um, you know, Tuesday night was um, was a, was a really nice uh, performance in terms of understanding, you know, what we want in terms of ball movement, body movement, guys playing together, making extra plays for each other, and the 28 assists, only eight turnovers, took good care of the ball. Thought again, play with great pace. I thought we played with great spacing. Uh, I thought we were we were good with our triggers. Um, and I thought, you know, the, the way we move ball and body uh, was, was really, really good. And, and you saw it in the, in the scoring, which I think we had three guys score 16 points. And I think we had four guys in double figures and two others with nine. And then, and then the assists were pretty well distributed as well. Hey, we're much more to come on Sycamore Spotlight. Indiana State preparing for their first tournament of the season out in Las Vegas. We'll preview the Bulldogs Classic. Look ahead to conference play when we come back. Driving home different way and I had a green light going through the intersection. The last thing I remember had been hit by a semi. We were picked up and dropped by at least four other law firms and then finally we reached out to Team Green and I can't tell you how exceptional they are and they were able to get me what I deserved. I can't recommend them enough. 
Looking for your next used vehicle? Make the winning drive to the Wabash Valley's largest dealer, Dorset Automotive. We buy more so you can save more. With over 300 used vehicles, Dorset has something for everyone in every budget. And we'll do whatever it takes to get you the lowest payment in the valley. Plus, you're backed by our exclusive five-year, 150,000-mile limited warranty. So hurry to Dorset today. At Great Dane, we are proud to invest in our people and community. Now announcing new starting wages for trailer assemblers and welders. Assemblers earn up to $23 an hour, and welders earn up to $27 an hour, with no experience necessary to apply. Enjoy great health benefits, advancement opportunities, 401k, pension, and more. We need the makers, people who are ready to make a difference. We need you. Apply today at greatdane.com slash careers. Hey, this is Todd Hine with LaborLink. And I'm Coach Schertz with your Indiana State men's basketball team. With the Sycamores, the success of each individual player depends on the performance of the entire team. That's right, Todd. Teamwork makes the dream work. And if you're looking for a job and want your own employment team, then LaborLink has a spot for you. Start work right away with LaborLink. And come out and support Terre Haute's team, the Sycamores. Talking all things basketball with head coach Josh Shirt. Sycamores have three games under their belts now, preparing for a fun week out in Las Vegas. We get you set for the Bulldogs Classic starting Tuesday, November 21st. Let's check out the schedule upcoming for Indiana State. You get Coach, you know, Rice, Pepperdine, and Toledo, three very big games, key games for your for your team, and first tournament of the year, too. Yeah, it's, it's a huge challenge. Uh, Rice is terrific, 120 plus last year. Postseason team. They got a 6'11 kid that's really special in Max uh, Fiedler. Um, Pepperdine off to a 3 and 1 start, just back to back 30 plus point wins. Uh, they got their best player probably coming back. He's missed the first four games. And Toledo, three time defending MAC champions, won 27 uh, games last year, undefeated so far this year. So um, three top, you know, 150 teams, um, neutral site, uh, great venue there in Vegas, and should be unbelievable competition, like I told our guys, you know. Season starts now. We'll get to really see where we are. This will be a great, great challenge for us. Three games, four days, high, high-level competition. Thanksgiving, always a special time when you mix in some basketball. And the turnaround is going to be quick from Vegas, though. You guys, will, of course, come back home and get set to open up Missouri Valley Conference play in, in a big way. First couple of games in the Valley happening late November, early December. Starting with the conference home opener against Southern Illinois Salukis, a team, of course, you guys split with last year. You won in Carbondale, lost here in January. But it's always fun when you open up conference, you get SIU. Yeah, no. Uh, again, just both those teams right now undefeated 3-0 and so far uh, out of the gates. Uh, Southern Illinois has got a terrific team, really playing well. Bradley, maybe the most impressive team so far in the Valley. Uh, that might be the hardest place to play uh, going down to Peoria. So um, it doesn't get any easier coming back from Vegas, but I'm, I'm really excited for that trip and then certainly uh, lock in and, and it'll, it'll have, make us battle tested. Hey, Coach, you know, we can't minute. wait to see what conference play begins and good luck out in Vegas as well. Hey, thanks for watching the very first edition of Sycamore Spotlight with Coach Shirts. I am Grant Pugh. We'll see you next time. We'll catch you in an ISU game, hopefully, as well. Thanks for watching Sycamore Spotlight. Stay up to date with Indiana State Athletics at GoSycamores.com.